Just a forewarning, I am a huge, huge Coheed and Cambria fan. Oh, there's two PC games I missed, but one's called Missing. It was like $10 at best, but it wasn't that great. It's actually my friends. I'm borrowing them. This is just trash. Um, Kill Switch Engage as Daylight Dies. I just, I love the band. They really are truly amazing, in my opinion. Kill Switch, love them. I'm into the metal. Coed and Cambria, huge fan. The storyline is great. I'm gonna post a link actually to a um, website where you can go and people talk about them all the time, and it's a lot of fun. I mean, they talk about other things besides the band, but I mean that is the big. That's the whole reason the site started. I think I'm off center there. Anyway, uh, the Prodigy they had a singles collection they actually put out called Their Law. It was um, 15 bucks at Best Buy. Whatever special edition of Gorilla's Demon Days. I don't have the first one. Simply because I could not find it unedited. I still can't. Uh, this is just Coheed Live. There was actually a DVD released of it. I also have the um, Last Supper, which is upstairs, the DVD of the live performance, which was better than uh, Starlin Ballroom. I think it was called the Roseland Ballroom or something, which is where they performed. Um, it's all trash here. Kyoto's Bone Palace Ballet. Um, they're actually considered an emo band, but uh, I was in Hot Topic and figured ten bucks for a CD wasn't bad, so I bought it and it's okay. I liked it. I mean, I listened to it a lot when I first got it. I've recently been listening to uh, My Chemical Romance, Black Parade lately, which I do have that and the first one or third, second album, <laughs> Three Cheers. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Ooh, Marilyn Manson, who was scratched up. Oh, well, Eat Me, Drink Me wasn't that great. Uh, Slipknot Live. Uh, 9.0 Live. I wish it could have been, could have been a lot better, really. I think the Slipknot Live album could have been, but... I mean, the quality of the recording is great. It's just live albums usually don't do bands justice. <coughs> justice. 9.0 Live, I guess, by Slipknot wasn't that bad. It, it could have been better. You know, nothing against you guys if any of you are even on YouTube, but yeah, <laughs> you know, good performances all around. I mean, I've seen the DVD, love it, you know, but the CD, mm, it's okay. <laughs> now, yes, I do have two copies of Senses Fail, simply because this was actually, I was on a trip, to, I went on a trip to Pittsburgh to see a friend in Beaver Falls, Hi, Cat, if you're watching this. Um, it was, uh, I think, like $12 at Walmart. And the, the cover, you know what I'm... I'm the cover just got my attention, so I was like, this looks interesting. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. This one, which is the new... Um, it was like a special edition or something. It actually came with uh, the live DVD with um, the, the acoustics of three of the songs and two bonus tracks, which were honestly amazing. I love this album. I love Census Fails. This album and um, the new one, Still Searching, I think is the name of it. Um, I want to get that one too eventually. I just haven't, you know, gotten around to it. Uh, screw it. We're doing all of them. Uh, let's see what's this. Yellow card, Lights and Sounds. That is not mine. That's my friend's, and I believe this is his Disturbed. Yep. Empty CD case. All right, Saliva. <clears throat> Uh, Bloodstained Love Story. This is the one with, uh, Ladies and Gentlemen on it. It's <clears throat> about all that's really good on the album. Uh, Lincoln Park Meteora. Follow up to Minutes to Midnight. Love it. Very good album. Remember, I kind of, they kind of, I kind of grew out of them, then I grew back into them when they came out with Meteora, and then Minutes to Midnight, which is just even more improvement. Cameras, I mean, that way. My bad. Anyway. Uh, this was actually six bucks.